Shabbat Shalom. I just want to welcome everyone to the Sabbath Day Conference Call. This is Barbara serving as your host today, and Brother Pete is here as your co-host. I'm so glad to have you along, and just we've got some really good material to cover today. Thank you. Okay, and our title today is 100 Verses in the Bible About the Lunar Solar Calendar and zero verses in the Bible about the Gregorian calendar. Oh boy. So uh, here is a list of 100 verses and um, you can zoom in on this on your screen or maybe pause it and copy it. And um, today we're just going to focus on 10 of these verses. Actually, I, I shortened this video. It's probably only going to be on three or four of these verses. But uh, we will finish it next week probably with the rest of them. So uh, here are the verses that we're going to be talking about. We have Old Testament, and we have uh, then the New Testament. We have Genesis and Leviticus, 1 Samuel, 2 Chronicles, Psalms, Isaiah, Ezekiel, Zechariah, and Luke. Uh, if there are over 100 verses that support this calendar, then how many more do you need to see that Yah is the creator of our calendar and he also controls the time? These verses come from nine different books of the Bible. You can see that the calendar is consistent from Genesis to Revelation. It does not change. Just like our Elohim, Yahweh, he never changes. Well, we cannot say that about our man-made pagan uh, biblical calendar. Uh, it has been manipulated and changed multiple times, and it is still far from perfect. So let us analyze our 10 verses. Uh, let's start with Genesis so that you will get the basics of how this calendar works. And our first verse is at the very beginning of the Bible. Genesis 1.14. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. Okay, well, just from this verse alone, we could build an entire biblical calendar. As you can see, the sun and moon have been created and used to count the time. So let's break it down. The job of the moon is to show us the light of the weeks and the months. The job of the sun is to show us the light of the day and the year. And so you can see here, um, the moon shows the weeks and the months, and the sun is going to show us our daylight and the season of the year spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Well, um, let's see, what does a month, uh, how is it described in the Webster Dictionary? A month, a measure of time corresponding nearly to the period of the moon's revolution and amounting to approximately four weeks or 30 days or one twelfth of a year. Here are the seven units of time. An hour is 60 minutes. A day is 24 hours. A week is seven days. A month, 30 days. A year, 12 months. A century, 100 years. And a millennium, 1,000 years. So, okay, the sun is going to show the day, the 24 hours, and uh, the week is moon, seven days, one month, that's 30 days, and that's by the moon, and the one year is a 12 months, which is regulated by the sun. 
So the moon is for weeks and months, and the sun is for days and years. Well, Yahweh showed us this in the very beginning of the Bible, when he said in Genesis 1.14, And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs, that's the moon, seasons, that's the moon, days, that's the sun, and years, that's the sun. And also um, to explain exactly what a sign is, here is a scripture. Exodus 31:17. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For in six days Yahweh made the heavens and the earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. So that word sign is Strong's H-22-6, and it's the same word as used in Genesis 1:14. Okay, now we've uh, talked about the very first verse in our study, Genesis 1:14. Now let's go to the second verse, Psalms 104:19. And Psalms explains exactly what a season is. What is a season? Some people translate this as meaning the seasons of the year. Biblically, seasons are festival that are placed on the moon observation. Here is another word uh, to prove the word seasons. 104.19, yes. So, yeah, here is another word for seasons, and it's um, also used in Psalms, and it's the number H4150. And the same Hebrew word was used for seasons here that we just read, uh, Psalms 104.19, he appointed the moon for seasons. So that's the same word that was used in our other scripture. And that's moyed. This word is moyed uh, in, script, in Hebrew? And it means seasons, right? Uh, yes, exactly. It's the appointed times that Yahweh appoints for his people. So, well, did you know the last book of the Bible, Revelation, also talks about the four units of time? Revelation 9:15, And the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men. It's a lot, it's the same terminology, hour, day, month, and year, as was also uh, used in Genesis 1.14, because we know the sun is for the day, the moon for signs, and the moon for seasons, and the sun for seasons also, yes, and the sun for years. So this shows the consistency of the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, talking about months, days, and years. So the first two verses help us to show the basics, but the third verse will help us build the calendar. And you will see that here, number three, Isaiah 66, 23. Isaiah 66, 23. It shall happen that from one new moon to another and from one Sabbath, to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me, says Yahweh. So um, the new moon is the first day of the month, and the Sabbath is always the seventh day of the month, the week. Worship will take place from new moon to new moon and from Sabbath to Sabbath. We will worship Yah every month and every week. Like it says again in Isaiah 66, 23, and it shall come to pass from one new moon to another and from one Sabbath to another shall all flesh come to worship before me, says Yah. So the biblical calendar will finally be restored with the second coming of Yeshua Messiah. 
And Psalms 19.1 says, The heavens proclaim the glory of Yah, and the skies display his craftsmanship. So to access more information about this calendar that's in the heavens, and to uh, also study about uh, how did we get that Gregorian calendar, uh, you can go to our website, LunarSabbathDay.com. So thank you for being here today. And I hope that you will go and study this out further. And there will be more to come next week. I want to finish the other verses that are on this list of ten.